aim in a little bit. Yes, sir. Seems about right. Can we hit 200k? Just shot 190k. You can't see it because the DPS meter broke. Not sure why. But yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. I'll go ahead and explain the build later. Watch the video until the end. Support your boy and enjoy the, uh, the gameplay. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Peace. So recently I've been watching this show called, or a Netflix thing called Disenchanted or Disenchantment. It's a Futurama style animation, which is why I clicked it. It is awesome. Maybe I'm biased and don't know good shows, but I had a great time watching that show. And I'm kind of sad because the reason I was watching it in the first place, I was dog sitting, which was a four day thing. Wasn't at my house, someone else's house, didn't have a PC. So I had nothing to really do except for watch shows. So Netflix, Hulu, they have all kinds of services. They were actually stacked to the gills. And Disenchanted was the second show I watched. Or Disenchantment, I forget the name of it, but it's a good show. And I also watched Gen V, which is from the same folks that made The Boys. And it's just like, not, I didn't call it a spinoff, but it's in the same universe as The Boys. And apparently it'll tie into The Boys season four eventually. So. If you like yeah, the boys, so Gen V was a lit. It features more of like a younger viewpoint than the boys does. Like the boys is more grown up stuff, but Gen V still has the same gore, same quality, just a different sort of storyline. And it was lit. I didn't expect it. I mean, I expected it to be good, but I didn't expect to like it that much. I, I didn't like it more than the boys. I kind of did, I kind of didn't. There were some aspects I did better. Oh my God, not this dude. It's like anti-fun everywhere I go, dude. What the fuck? This boss is anti-enjoyment. Full stop. I should have rested again. Why didn't I do that? Because all this boss does, you can't shoot it. <laughs> you can't shoot it unless it's glowing red. And when it's not glowing red, it, it, it takes zero damage. And when it is glowing red, it's going to shoot you back. It's going to apply madness, which can, which can kill you if you have too many stacks. And there's like a wave that's gonna hit you. Like the wave thing isn't a big deal, but I this this boss is so poorly designed. IMO. This is why I really would want expeditions. Because A, I wouldn't have to walk through the the fights like this. I go right. Yeah, I go right. I've gotten pretty decent at knowing how to traverse these maps though. Without having to turn around or nothing like that. So that's pretty cool, I guess. I wanted that, but it's not. A couple of dudes behind me. Go ahead and commit Sudoku. Deuces. If the build can mow this boss, that'd be awesome. I'll probably have to wait for the correct window. Because there is a possibility. Alright. Um, change the build to that. I can't get over how good loadouts are. What an amazing quality life addition. There's one thing I'm going to do that I think will make this faster. Because the way the build works, you need to have like basically one one bullet left in the chamber. And then you shoot that bullet and then you have unlimited ammo for five seconds because of bottom feeder. So what I'm going to do is unequip gunslinger real quick to have less bullets. And then re-equip gunslinger. Hello. Nice. Oh, come on. This is the not so glorious look of the builds, but this is what content looks like, folks. This. I should be equipping my alchemist thing, but it's fine. All right? I'm gonna walk in, trigger the fight, and then pop all the buffs. Okay, well. It would have thick skin. How is it only doing a thousand damage? I hate this fight so fucking much. Please get rid of it. Please get rid of it. It's so boring for the game. I hate it so much. A thousand damage on a crit? What a what a god awful fight. You look at it, you're getting hit. Oh my god, no words. Alright, well, fun's over for now. This, this is my complaint with this game right now. 
I can't stand having to sit there, run through an entire map to get to a boss, and the boss can have modifiers that counter my build, that has thick skin, boring as hell, and the boss itself can counter my build too. I've already, I've already played 340, 60, 80 hours. I should be done with that, and now I should be able to reap the reward of all the grindage, having all the gear I've gotten, beating all the bosses, and just be able to queue into bosses I want to fight. Maybe in the future that'll happen, but right now it is tilting. And please, for the love of God, stop pulling a Dauntless and adding more modifiers. They are not good. Modifiers for bosses. The things that make them have thick skin, elemental resist, they're not good. I promise you with everything that is possible. It is the whole truth that modifiers are not good. In the long run, players will hate them. Guarantee it. Like it was Starshot and Firestorm. These, these did damage before. But maybe they changed it. Hopefully not. My lantern. I haven't changed it. Nice. Maybe they did. What? Goodbye. What an awful fight. If that would have killed me, I'd have some choice words. I've been shooting this for bloom all the ding dong day. I started with 30 rounds and I'm going for one. If this doesn't go well, it's going to be a little unfortunate. Could have been better. Could have been better, but we take those. Yes, we do. Not bad at all. W Dubious Nation. No! I was so close! Well... Don't touch me, I killed myself. Alright, I guess that works. I'm gonna see how bleeds work. I didn't want I don't, I don't wanna do this. It just has to happen. Okay. This is it. Was that more damage or nah? This time, it all goes according to plan. When in doubt, bust up the Glicky. <laughs> the Glicky is a dumbass name. That is a terrible name for anything. I'm gonna say Blicky. Throw the consumable at the boss and see what happens. You're one! One more shot. One more shot, it dies. Okay, so I think that uh, bleed is definitely the way. Or not bleed, but the crit with bleed is the way. And weak spot damage. I don't think that fire rate affects the whole thing we have going on here. Okay, this time it's going to work. Guaranteed. It counts. It counts. It counts. It counts. What can I say? It counts. One more crit and it dies in effectively seven-ish seconds from first shot. That counts, okay? RNG's a cruel mistress, man. Jeez Louise, bruv. A little side note on things I've been thinking about. I kind of wish that in Remnant 2, when you played the game enough, like the way that games like this should work, 
you start off with not the best quality of life stuff whatever you show yourself you play the game you do well you progress and the end game should give you more quality of life options when that design choice is shown it's the best one so quality of life would be things like having more either cheaper either cheaper consumables or consumables that are more reusable because things are not cheap in this game 500 scrap i think it's a cost for a single pipe bomb why am i getting hit with inflation when playing a video game what i where's my raise where's my raise bro raise my raise my pay rates at least which they kind of did it's still not enough though i'm a i'm a frivolous spender in this game but uh yeah that's uh that's the that's the thing uh, i guess i go ahead and cover the build real quick so the way it works I'm wearing no armor, which if you're using the whetstone, you can wear armor, you're fine. But usually I'm using Daredevil's Charm, where you get more damage for having nothing on, which is why I have nothing on. You don't have to use that. Other options are available. Pick whatever you want outside of that. And then I go Zanya's Malice for weak spot damage, prob cord crit damage, ring of flaw beauty. You get more weak spot more weak spot damage. If you hit it, if you miss, you get less damage. So hit for weak spots. And then Burden of the Destroyer. This is usually not that great just because shotguns already have next to no ideal range. And this shortens it by 25%. But I press W. I got close to it. I'm hit stunning it anyway with this build, so it's fine. What makes it work in the first place is Bottom Feeder. This is a mutator that's new with the recent aberrations. Increase this weapon's range damage by 7.5% for every 20% reserve ammo missing. That's good, but... Level 10, when the weapon runs out of ammo, it gains infinite ammo for 5 seconds. Can only happen once every 60 seconds. So, I get to 1 ammo before going to boss fight. I shoot that 1 ammo in the chamber. And then after that, it shits off to the races, bud. Things go crazy. And with the Spore Bloom, it hits the hardest in the game. It's pretty good. It can kill probably most things in one rotation, unless there's immune phases. And on the boss, I'm just I just fought could do it it's just a little weird like there's maybe one thing you could change in this build to get a bit more damage i just don't know what it is and i got range crit chance range crit damage and weak spot damage i'm using hunter with the focus gotta aim in before you fire your shot to get the focus to work and then gunslinger with bullet storm i would use rampage but rampage is too much work man with rampage the trigger the rampage mode and that is an animation lock so you're wasting time and it's a lot to freaking hassle with which is why I'm not really sure why they fixed the multiplicative damage when it's a hassle to use. And most folks thought that Gunslinger was better before, or Hugs was better before when it wasn't. And now that it's definitely better after the change, who's going to use Rampage? I might, but kind of a weird spot to be in. And then I'm also using Rune Pistol. The Mutator doesn't matter that much, but I think Bandit's pretty good on this gun. And I'm using dead, like the Death Brand mod it makes things take 10% more damage, which is just good. So that's what's going on. My traits are seen as such. Anywho, that's the video. Thank you again for watching. Peep the other content if you want. And uh, have a good day. Peace.